Hi, John Fugler here. Let's spend a few minutes retreating with God. As we close the week out together, we're still on the theme of peace. Ah, it's been a really good week digging into this. Today, it's it's soul peace and choices. Peace and choices. <laughs> it was a, a late afternoon on a full day. I remember it. Uh, the morning had started innocently as I showed up 10 minutes early to my first meeting, only to find out I was 50 minutes late. <laughs> Not only that, but it was my first week on my new job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was years ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday. So uh, knowing I'd made a great first impression on the dozen colleagues in the room, I was a bit rocked. <laughs> it was a four-hour meeting followed by another group meeting followed by lunch with still another group meeting. Uh, my afternoon wasn't quite as busy, but by the end, I had spent no time writing, which is where I find peace for my soul. I love to write. When I arrived home, I had a choice. Would I write or would I take care of another urgent deadline-driven task? Well, I chose to write, and I'm glad I did. God poured into my soul as he always does when I shut out the world and scribe sentences. Your soul peace involves choices. Will you let the world tell you what to do with every minute of your day, or will you respond to God? No matter how busy your schedule is, you must find time to feed your soul. The urgent isn't always the best. For me, my deadline task had to wait, and I'm glad I made that choice because I tackled it with renewed energy and a more peaceful soul when I finally got to it. Jesus found time even in his busy schedule for peace for his soul. He went away with the Father time after time. He needed him. He craved solitude. It refreshed him so he could face the crowds and the constant demands on his life. Matthew describes one of those times in chapter 14, verses 22 and 23, where he says, Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone. Jesus prayed. Jesus prayed. And if it was important to him, it should be important to us. There are also choices beyond prayer that affect our soul peace. If we're chasing our schedule, leaving no time for relaxing things in life, we'll live on the edge. And the result? Tension, impatience, costly mistakes, lack of concentration, damaged relationships, critical spirit, sharp tongue, so much more. We suffer, and so do the people around us. Next week, I'll be at a conference that runs for 12 hours a day. I'll always be around people and engaging with them. I might even make a presentation. I must determine in advance how I will spend time with God and do a couple things that contribute to my soul peace. I will not let my schedule own me. So I need to be prepared. I need to know where I'm going, how I'm going to meet with the Lord, and how I can do some things that contribute to my soul peace. Let me encourage you to make the choice of spending time in prayer with God and then make choices that will relax your spirit and create an environment of soul peace. We'll go deeper into that Matthew 14 passage if you want to go to it now, Matthew 14, verses 22 and 23. Also go to retreatingwithgod.org as soon as we're done here. If you have not picked up the 21-Day Fresh Faith Experience, please do that. It's a personal devotional. It's free. It's a download. You can start right away as soon as you have it and have some time with the Lord, that one-on-one -on -one time that we need each day. Maybe you need something fresh to get you pointed in the right direction. It might be a stale time right now. The 21-Day Fresh Faith Experience will help you really get into your time with the Lord and Bible study and prayer, just like we do here. Matthew 14 22 and 23, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. <laughs> That's it. Just two verses today. Two verses to really go deep with, okay? And let me read them again. Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. 
After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. So let's reflect. What things stand out in this passage? Do I see anything new about God, or does this passage reinforce something I already know about him? What's the theme or message of this passage, or multiple themes and messages? Then ask these key application questions about the passage, and some might be indirect. This is where you just settle before the Lord in this time of reflection, and he may lay some things on your heart. The first one is this. Is there a promise for me to claim? Is there a sin for me to avoid? Is there a command for me to obey? And this one, is there an example for me to follow? And then the final most important question, in what way or ways do I know the Father or Jesus better as a result of studying this passage? Now let's uh, spend some time relating to God. And as a result of reflecting on the passage, take time to pray about the things the Lord has brought to mind. And if you have some prayer requests, go ahead and bring those to the Lord as well. And I'll close us very shortly. Lord, we need your help. We need your help to make the right choices. We often choose the wrong things that don't, they don't feed our soul, they starve our soul, and we lack peace. So help us in the times of urgency to be able to set aside that time to spend with you and to enjoy time with you because in you there is peace. So help us do that. Help us do that, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, download your free resource to help you go deeper with Jesus, the 21-Day Fresh Faith Experience at retreatingwithgod.org. As we close our week together, remember the Apostle Paul's words in Philippians 3, 8, What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Retreating with God is a ministry of Fresh Faith 24-7, a place where you can retreat with God and get to know Him more deeply. And I encourage you to visit 
freshfaith247.com. Look forward to joining you again next week.